YouTube, Mad Dog here. I thought to do a quick video um, on this little fella here, which is the Mylar survival blanket. Hopefully, you carry one of these in your survival kit or first aid kit. I highly recommend that you do so, at least one. Um, I just thought I'd cover a few little snippets, if you like, that I don't know. You might not be aware of, or other uses other than the fact that you can wrap yourself up in this thing obviously to stave off um, hypothermia in a survival situation. Now obviously they come packaged in the little Ziploc bag. <coughs> uh, when you actually unfold this thing, you know it's like two, is it 2.1 meters by one and a half meters. I mean this thing, when it's unfolded, you know it's pretty substantial, it's massive. Now obviously from this terrible lighting in the shed you can see one of the first uses that you could make makeshift with this and that is a signal signal mirror because obviously it's very uh, reflective the other thing is because it's very strong very uh, adaptable you can use this to form a basic water gatherer so dig a pit lay this in it a stone pebble in the center um, add leaf scrunch it up condensation method etc but that aside you can actually just use it as a water carrier makeshift because it's very strong you can actually before you unfold this cut one end with scissors or your knife and uh, get yourself a little strip of this stuff and the mylar is actually very tensile very strong in tensile strength so find yourself the center of that of the piece that you've cut off and your small strip by putting the two loose ends together find the center <coughs> and just start twisting basically <coughs> excuse me start twisting I'm not going to go all the way down and bore you all to death with this but uh, once you've done that tie, tie it off at the loose end and this makes really surprisingly strong I mean I'm really pulling it cordage <coughs> Now because it has a temperature threshold, um, I believe it's around 680 degrees, something like that, or is it 480? You'll have to double check my uh, figures there, so please don't quote me on that, but it's a very high temperature uh, melting point. Um, you could use that cordage as bow drill um, string cordage. And it, it is very strong, it really is surprising. I do recommend you giving it a go and trying it. But again, I'm talking a survival situation. Don't just think it's just the blanket. <coughs> you could also use that as a makeshift tourniquet. Don't recommend the tourniquet, but you know, in a real em dire emergency, would substitute a tourniquet. Now, obviously, the blanket itself as a blanket, but also you can also further cut strips off this. Take them strips, insulate your boots and your gloves wrap them around existing socks etc whilst yes it doesn't allow your feet to breathe and moisture will be held within in a bad situation where you're already in a bad situation then it's an extra insulation and, and I recommend it um, the other thing is obviously as we all know you can build yourself a fire screen so at the back of a fire build yourself a makeshift fire reflector because of the high melting point of this um, a couple of feet away from your fire will reflect heat back towards you making the fire more efficient and giving you a, a fighting chance of staying warm in a bad situation um, you can also use this you know I'm a big believer in not getting yourself in a survival situation to start with prevention is better than cure so when whilst carrying one of these in your pack use it before you get into a survival situation so if you're in your tent, your bivy bag, your basher, whatever you may be, <coughs> bushcraft shelter, etc. Take it out, wrap yourself up around your clothing before you actually need it, before you go hypothermic, because it's an extra layer of insulation. So that would be my advice. 
prevention's better than cure. Use it before you need it, basically. Um, there's, there's a lot of uses for this. You can actually use these, and I've never done this, I'll be honest, but I've heard that you can use this, and people that I've spoke to in the past supposedly have done it, as a solar oven. And basically you put your, your cup, your what you intend to cook, in the centre of this, and arrange this like a shield, like a, a magnifying screen, so the, the sun's rays beats down and cooks your food. How efficient that is, mm, I don't know. For me, the jury's out on that one, but allegedly it can be done. But I do know for a fact that if you've got damp socks, underwear, um, not necessarily wet, but damp, at the end of your day, put them on this. Put them in a in a place, you know, south, um, sort of southeast facing, obviously, and wait for the sun to come up if you're not needing that underwear garment and let the sun's rays do its thing and help dry those damp clothing items out and because of the extra, extra radiation it will speed up the drying process and that does work <coughs> so I know I've ranted and blasted everybody a little bit on this video but don't neglect the old mylar blanket you know this thing is stay with me here a minute Quite substantial, you know, and this is tall, obviously taller than me. I know I'm a fat old jet, but it goes right the way around. You know, you could even make a, a makeshift poncho out of this. And in a true emergency situation where you want to be seen, just wrap it round you anyway. Because look at this, it's better than having lights attached to you. You know, you need you need to be seen to be seen in a survival situation, not camoed up. So. And for the price point, a pound each, UK um, English sterling, get yourself as many as these as you can afford and afford to carry, in my opinion. Very versatile, very, very well worth having, in my opinion. Definitely carry them, but don't just think of them as a one-hit item. They're not just there as a blanket. Very versatile. Um, Anyway, I've ranted on <laughs> long enough about this, but I do recommend these. So um, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you find some of these little snippets useful. Have a great weekend as always, and I'll see you on the next one. Mad Dog signing off. Yeah! Yeah. Yeah. Nice and warm. The Mylar blanket. Very versatile. Go get yourself one of them if you haven't already done so. Yeah. Mad Dog signing off.